Hi everybody. In this session, let us try to discuss about very important system verilog construct that is used for combinational modeling. That is always underscore com. So our goal is to understand about always underscore com and rule of always underscore com to design the combinational logic. So in the system verilog, uh, we have a procedural block always underscore com and that is used for combinational modeling. So let us quickly try to understand using the RTL design. So the name of module is com underscore design. Two inputs are there a underscore in b underscore in output y1 underscore out y2 underscore out and within this always underscore com procedural block within this begin and end two assignments are there assignments are of blocking type y1 underscore out is equal to a underscore in xor with b underscore in y2 underscore out is equal to a underscore in and with b underscore in so let us now try to understand what is the difference between always at the rate of star which we have used in Verilog and always underscore com which we'll be using in system Verilog. So the important point is that always at the rate of star we have used which was enhancement in Verilog 2001 standard and at the rate of star indicates that let us include all these signals in the sensitivity list. So that already most of us are familiar with this fact. Now, now important points about always underscore com is that it executes at zero time. The always underscore com ensures true combinational behavior. The always underscore com eliminates the limitation of always at the rate of star. What is that limitation? See now if I, I am using always at the rate of star then at that time it becomes very difficult for me to read the signals. by function from the block so that is the limitation of always at the rate of star so the advantage of always underscore com is that it ensures true combinational behavior and the always underscore com is sensitive to both the both the signals within the procedural block and the signals read by function from that particular procedural block so this is the major advantage of this always underscore com So now if I am using always underscore com always underscore com within this begin there are multiple assignments begin end we have suppose y1 underscore out is equal to a underscore in xor with b underscore in y2 underscore out is equal to a underscore in and with b underscore in now what is the logic inferred by this? So, this infers truly combinational logic. So, combinational logic inferred is A underscore in is input port, B underscore in is another input port. Here, this assignment, here, this is blocking assignment. Within this combinational block, which is sensitive to A underscore in as well as b underscore in so this infers xor gate to gate y1 underscore out then this is and y2 underscore out so whenever we will try to design any logic any combinational logic by using system verilog then at that time let us try to use the continuous assignment constructs that is multiple continuous assignment constructs or always underscore com procedural block now i hope that you have good understanding about combinational design and constructs used synthesizable constructs used to model the combinational logic now in the next subsequent session let us try to understand different uh, procedural blocks which are used to model the sequential design.
so i will stop here thank you very much